Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain how to create control knob which is a plastic component. See generally these are the knobs available in the market most of them are customized. See these are the plastic components, plastic knobs. See some of them are metallic coated which is a plastic knob. The materials used for knobs are aluminium if it is a metallic or ABS, nylon, PVT and phenolic that is backlighted. So inside the knob there is a D type cutout for rotating mechanism. So this is the D type mechanism. So I am going to show you here see so where a shaft is going to fit into this let's start now select the right plane go to sketch draw simple rectangle starting from the origin this is 20 this is 20 select this corner point and fillet is 5 mm go to feature select revolve and the axis to revolve select this now select this face create a sketch draw center line now select the ellipse select these endpoints and make it horizontal and these two points make it vertical now the distance between this and this point is 1 mm and this is 5 So keep it in shaded form. See here it is going to create a cutout. So select the extruded cut, make through all and say okay. See here. Now I am going to apply fillet on these edges. So three edges we need to select. So remove the tangency, select three edges individually. See the value is 2 mm. See now unhide the temporary axis. So if it is not showing, just click on this. So this is a temporary axis, we do not have to create axis. 
now create a circular pattern select this axis and features to be selected so extruded cut and fillet so number of uh, instances are 12 and say okay see we can hide this axis now see now apply shell and select this face and here i am going to take 1 mm and say okay see here so there is a uniform thickness see there is an option called evaluate thickness analysis so if you select 1 mm and calculate see here it is going to show the thick region similarly we can select the thin and uh, we can calculate see here it is going to show the thin regions see here if it is less than 1 mm it will show in red color so we do not see much so there is a uniform thickness at each corners so that is how we do with thickness analysis now i am going to add this extruded boss so select this face go to sketch draw a circle and it is 10 mm go to extruded boss and here you have to select blind and it is 24 mm see here I'll keep it in right side view see now I have I have to maintain uniform thickness so I have to remove the material so I'm going to take offset so I've selected the face and selected the offset so our thickness value is 1 mm we have to flip the direction see here I am going to create this D shape cut out I have to draw one horizontal line I will show in shader form see you. so I am going to remove the additional lines this one so this is uh, 2.5 and say ok so we have to remove this material so select uh, the extruded cut see instead of blind we have to select offset from the surface we have to select the inner surface and offset uh, we have to take 1 mm see here I will keep it in right side view see here so there is a 1 mm thickness at this point so I am going to show you in cross section see here see here see the thickness is increasing right 
so we don't have to keep offset simply up to surface so there is a uniform thickness so we have to identify in this manner and we can check with the thickness analysis as I shown you earlier now I am going to add these ribs so select the right plane go to sketch here keep it in wireframe and create a cross section see here draw one inclined line just joining this edge and this point so I'm going to take cross section selecting this and this angle is 26.5 now draw line in this way and uh, select this rib see rib it should be 60 percent of the thickness so that is 0 0.6 see thickness is 0 0.6 save see rib has been created now I am going to apply fillet see here this corner and this corner so I am going to take 5 mm and save it now apply the so I am going to unhide this uh, axis so I am going to apply the circular pattern so select this axis hide them all and features we have to select this rib and fillet so i'm going to take only four and see okay see here see this knob is uh, designed with a simple geometry and this is for beginners in upcoming videos I am going to add more videos on plastic design and designing of different components considering the design factors so this is brief about control knob with plastic design thanks for watching